Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And today we're back with another Dungeon Hunter Champions video sponsored by Gameloft. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to gear the Nature Pirate Kendrick, okay? And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys follow my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Claytano. I do a ton of Dungeon Hunter Champions streams doing giveaways with Tudor Puffs, Light Dark Discs, and all that good stuff. So make sure you guys hit that follow button on my Twitch channel so that way you guys don't miss out on your giveaways as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up our champions here. And like I said, I'm gonna give you guys basically how I geared my Kendrick and how you guys could probably use him to your advantage as well. He is a four star unit, but he is just a basic element unit that is super, super, super useful in like a lot of different aspects of the game. And to give you guys some of the different aspects that he's good in, I would say he's really good in uh, Ultimate Blitz. He's really good in Elder Drakes, he's also really good on arena offense, and that's the main place where he actually shines the most, okay? So as I have it right here though, you guys can kind of see the types of stats that I'm working with. His HP is right around 40K, which is really, really strong for a Kendrick that's based on attack, okay? So my attack is an additional, almost 1500 additional attack, and then I also don't really care about attack speed too much. The defense, it's nice to have a little bit tankier stats to keep him around a little bit longer so that way he's not dying first hit. You also want to make sure that you're building him with a hundred percent crit rate if possible so that's what I have mine at which is a hundred percent okay 30 plus 70 that's a hundred percent right and then the crit damage isn't so much important as some of the other stats so that's more of like a secondary stat as well. Of course if you're doing a hundred percent crits every every time you <laughs> every time you attack if you have more crit damage, that means the more damage you're gonna be outputting, which uh, which would be pretty nice, uh, but it's not something that you guys really need to focus on as far as that's concerned. The accuracy though is definitely one of his main stats as well, so you wanna make sure that he has a ton of accuracy, and the resistance is also just a bonus stat. So. Yes, it's nice to have literally every stat on Kendrick. Really, he can use everything. But really, when it comes down to it, you want to just focus on a couple main ones, which is accuracy, crit rate, attack, and HP. Okay, that's like the main ones. Now, as far as his skills are concerned, you can kind of see how that would play into um, effect. So pistol shot is his basic ability, right? His uh, his skill fires a bullet dealing damage to a target enemy from a distance. Basically, he's just shooting people from afar. That's about it. Now, his first skill, well play shot, is actually super, super crucial in Elder Drakes mainly, and also really helps out in a lot of Ultimate Blitz as well. It doesn't really make too much of a difference on Arena Offense. This is more for PVE skill for um, for Kendrick. So, it's uh, it fires his first flintlock pistol, <laughs> dealing damage to his uh, first enemy hit and knocking it back. But also on a critical hit, this also inflicts ongoing damage, which is, like I said, really important when you're doing um, Elder Drakes. You want to have a little bit more dots. Uh, the more damage over time that you could have on the Elder Drake boss, the quicker that it's going to die. I use him in my Elder Drake team, and I'm actually able to get up to 15 ongoing damage marks on the boss, which is actually pretty insane. His second skill though, Mark of the Pirate, this is what really shines in uh, arena offense. So what it does is it fires a flare over the battlefield that explodes into a skull and crossbones, striking fear into the hearts of his foes and inspiring confidence in his crew. This is going to lower the defense of all enemies under the flag and raise attack of all allies. So it, it kind of just does two things, okay? Not just lowers the defense of the enemies, but also increases the attack power. So it's making you do a ton more damage. And on arena defense, it is super important to do a ton of damage because right now the arena, uh, I'm sorry, arena offense is super important to do a ton of damage because right now on arena defense, it is extremely stall meta right now where people are just trying to stall you out for the minute time that you have. And because you're able to lower their defense, increase your attack power, it's able, it allows you to get in there a little bit better and kill out a lot more of those tankier comps um, with way more ease. That's what it comes down to. Now his third skill, Bombardment, uh, signals his loyal crews to fire a barrage of cannonballs at a location. Each volley damages enemies in the area. Critical damage dealt ignores a portion of the enemy's defense. So it's ignoring defense. It's really nice uh, because it just gives you just a ton more damage with it being something that ignores the enemy's defense. So. Really, really good kit all around. Um, I would say the Dark Pirate is probably just a smidge better. The only reason why is because it has like that 
AOE kind of crowd control anchor that um, that the pirates have, which is super awesome. It's actually the same skill that the water one has, which is this one, drop anchor. So uh, although the dark one is obviously a LD Nat 4, much harder to get. Kendrick is definitely more obtainable than the dark one. Uh, although if you do have the dark one and the nature one, I would say go with the dark one instead, in my opinion. Uh, but as far as his gear, this is how I have him geared. I do have all of his stuff completely maxed out because I use him literally, like I said, everywhere. So as far as his uh, gear, it's adept with precise because again, I want him to have as high accuracy as I possibly can. And then I also really want him to be using his skills as much as he possibly can. Okay, so here's my helmet. Uh, I have the HP right there, accuracy, defense, a lot of tanky stats on his helmet. For the pendant, I have defense, HP, a huge attack stat on that. And then also I have accuracy subsets on, um, on it as well. For the armor, I have really big accuracy substat with crit rate attack. And then flat attack, it's not really the best stat to have, but it's there. Uh, I'd rather have like, I don't know, probably an HP stat on that instead. I would probably be better. And then as far as the, uh, the shoulder pads, I have it with attack percent and I have accuracy, HP, attack speed, and crit rate, pretty much everything that he can really use, except for attack speed is not really as important on Kendrick, like I said, but still, it's there. And he does have a huge accuracy substat right there as well. Uh, his glove is crit rate, which makes it so that way I don't have to have too many other crit rate substats on all of my other gear because I have it from my uh, Adept glove. I would really recommend doing that instead of going with like an attack glove or an HP glove and then trying to get crit rate substats from your other pieces of equipment because there's only one piece of gear that you can get crit rate from and that's your Adept glove. So having that as the main stat is gonna make things a whole lot easier for you to get the stats that you need rather than go, trying to go, trying to force it and squeezing as much crit rate out of, out of other subsets that uh, it's just it's just gonna be so much harder to do it that way. So do it this way, in my opinion, get the crit rate on the glove, uh, attack percent, accuracy, attack speed, move speed, like I said, pretty much everything you need, except for these are kind of just bonus stats there. Uh, as far as the bracer is concerned, I have it with attack percent as well. So as you can see, attack percent, attack percent with crit rate, and then the HP I'm just getting from substats, which are right here, HP 19%, accuracy 6%, defense plus 19%. And uh, that turns into something that looks like this. And uh, really 89% accuracy is as much as you probably need. You could even probably have a little bit less and he would work just the same, just as well as he would with 100% accuracy. The crit rate is, again, super important, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna bring him into a fight here so that way you guys can see how he works on arena offense. And let's just go ahead and take, I don't know, we'll go ahead and take the first person. No, I'm gonna, just kidding. I'm gonna give us an actual defense, hopefully. And that still seems like to be a little weak. This one's probably a little bit better. I got the light AA, the dark magical girl. Even though she's not fully maxed out level 60, it'll still be a little bit better of a match than that uh, that other defense probably would have been. And then uh, I do want to take him into a Elder Drake and show you guys how he works on that as well. And then I just finished my ultimate blitz and I used him fully from stage one to uh, one to 50 on normal and on epic. Uh, and I haven't done legendary yet this rotation, but he can still typically kind of be used in legendary, although you probably want a little bit more tanky uh, sustainable units in, uh, in Legendary than you would probably use Kendrick. Just keep that in mind. But uh, as you can see though, guys, uh, he drops that third skill in there along with the second skill and people just kind of start melting. Uh, and then I have him paired with Gamma. So it, it's pretty nice where they, they work well together, even though Gamma doesn't really worry about defense breaks because she just kind of, you know, does the laser and ignores everybody's defense. But with that and then ignoring the defense from the third skill from Kendrick, like I said, they just melt people and it makes arena offense super easy. Um, and then last but not least, let's go ahead over to Elder Drakes and I can show you guys the team that I use on that as well. And I typically use two siege towers, which is the water siege tower as well as the nature siege tower. And then I also pair them with Rhoda and, um, and Manus. And that's, that's, all, that's all I use, okay? You can switch out these siege towers for uh, probably for snake ladies, if you wanted to use double snake ladies, I would recommend using 
two nature snake ladies if you have them. If you don't have them, you can do two water snake ladies, a water snake lady and a nature snake lady. Something like that would also work. And this is supposedly uh, supposed to kill the boss before he flies away on the first time because that's the whole thing behind Elder Drake is to kill it before it flies away so that way you're not sitting there for another 30 seconds watching the boss attack you while you can't actually target him. And uh, for this team, I would say nine times out of 10, they kill it before the boss flies away. There is one off times here and there where, I don't know, maybe the siege towers don't use their uh, their cannon ability or they have it on cooldown from a, a trash wave or something like that. But most of the time, they, they, they take care of the boss pretty quickly. Uh, but here you go, you'll see them kind of in action. I think they have their skills up. I know the water one had just used her skill, they're girls, right? Yeah, they're girls. Uh, so there goes the nature one, and then the water one hopefully can come in here pretty soon now, but I mean, they put like 12 dots on there, so it was pretty easy. Kendrick did help out, trust me. Uh, without Kendrick there, they probably wouldn't have killed the boss that quickly, and also the trash waves, he helps out a lot for that. But uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video, just t teaching you guys how to actually build your guys' Kendricks. I know a lot of people are confused whether they should build tanky, whether they should build uh, damage built or crit damage and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps you guys out on that. Um, if it does help you out, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel and uh, enter my monthly giveaway on YouTube by clicking on the link in the description below. Uh, the more entries you have for my monthly giveaway, the higher chance you'll have of actually winning a Samsung tablet as well. That that one is provided by myself personally. Um, but aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay soupy, don't be potatoes, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace. So please, if you're out there, will you hear my prayer?